Evolution. Right or wrong? Are there alternative theories? Imagine a world where penguins waddled on land but couldn't swim. Their stubby wings offering little more than a pathetic attempt at flight. Now picture a giraffe with a neck shorter than your arm, struggling to reach even the lowest leaves on a tree. These scenarios seem bizarre, yet they highlight the dramatic changes life has undergone over millions of years. Enter Charles Darwin, a curious naturalist who revolutionized our understanding of life with his theory of evolution by natural selection. It proposed that all living things share a common ancestor and have adapted and diversified over time. This survival of the fittest principle explains why giraffes have long necks and penguins excel in the water. But Darwin's ideas weren't universally accepted. Let's explore the fascinating world of evolution and its ongoing debate. Delving deeper. Think back to our prehistoric ancestors. With limited knowledge, they navigated a world filled with unknowns. A rustling in the bushes could be a harmless deer or a hungry predator. In this environment, forming theories, even if not entirely accurate, was a way to explain the inexplicable. This inherent human desire to understand the unknown continues to drive our fascination with evolution. Today, the unknown takes on many forms, from the vastness of space to the intricacies of the human body. Evolutionary biology attempts to answer questions about how these complexities arose and continue to change. But with so much information at our fingertips, how can we tell fact from fiction? Science versus creationism. One of the most prominent criticisms of evolution comes from creationism. Proponents believe that all living things were created in their current form by a higher power. This viewpoint often clashes with the scientific evidence for evolution which demonstrates gradual changes across generations. The Scopes Monkey Trial In 1925, a landmark court case in the United States called the Scopes Monkey Trial highlighted the tension between these two viewpoints. A biology teacher, John Scopes, was charged with defying a law that prohibited teaching evolution in public schools. The media frenzy surrounding the trial brought national attention to the debate between science and religion in education. While the verdict ultimately went against Scopes, the case sparked a crucial conversation about the role of scientific inquiry in a modern society. However, science isn't a stagnant collection of facts. The field of evolutionary biology thrives on new discoveries. Researchers are constantly delving into the mechanisms that drive change, uncovering factors beyond just natural selection. Beyond natural selection, Natural selection is the cornerstone of Darwin's theory, but it's not the only player in the game. Genetic mutations can introduce entirely new traits. Imagine a bird with a slightly different wing structure, perhaps offering an advantage in flight. If this mutation is passed on to offspring, it can contribute to the overall diversification of the bird population. The peppered moth. A classic example of this is the peppered moth. In pre-industrial England, light-colored moths were well camouflaged against the pale trees. However, with the rise of industrial pollution, trees became dark and sooty. Darker moths, previously vulnerable to predators, now had a survival advantage. Over time, the dark-colored moths became more common in the population, demonstrating how environmental changes can influence evolution through mutations. Another factor is horizontal gene transfer, where genetic material is exchanged between different species. This allows for the spread of beneficial traits beyond the bounds of traditional reproduction. Understanding these complexities provides a richer picture of how life changes and adapts. Alternative theories. While Darwin's theory is the foundation of evolutionary biology, some scientists propose additional explanations for certain phenomena. Punctuated Equilibrium Niles Eldridge and Stephen Jay Gould proposed the theory of punctuated equilibrium. This suggests that evolution might not be a smooth, gradual process. Instead, it may occur in bursts of rapid change followed by periods of relative stability. Think of a volcanic eruption. The sudden environmental shift can trigger rapid adaptation within a population, followed by a period of stability as the new environment becomes the norm. 
These alternative theories don't necessarily contradict Darwin's core principles. They offer a more nuanced understanding of how evolution might work in different circumstances. Evaluating evidence. So, how do we navigate these competing viewpoints? The key lies in the scientific method. Unlike creationism, which relies on faith, science requires evidence-based explanations. Scientists test and refine those explanations through observation and experimentation. Evolution is supported by a vast amount of evidence, forming a cohesive narrative for the history of life on Earth. Here are just a few examples. Fossils. These petrified remnants of ancient creatures offer a glimpse into past ecosystems and how species have changed over time. The gradual transformation of dinosaur forelimbs into bird wings is a prime example. Comparative anatomy. Comparing the body structures of different organisms reveals hidden connections. The similarities in bone structure between humans, bats, and whales point to a common ancestor despite their vastly different appearances. Genetics. DNA analysis is a powerful tool for understanding evolutionary relationships. Studying gene sequences can reveal how closely related species are and how they diverged from a common ancestor. These lines of evidence, combined with ongoing research, paint a compelling picture of how life has evolved and continues to evolve. The verdict. Right or wrong? You decide. Evolution by natural selection is a powerful theory that explains the incredible diversity of life on Earth. It's not a static concept. Ongoing discoveries continue to refine our understanding. While creationism presents a different worldview, it doesn't invalidate the vast amount of scientific evidence supporting evolution. Conclusion Do you think there is room for alternative theories within the framework of evolution? What unanswered questions do you have about evolution? Share your thoughts in the comments below.